Hello viewers and welcome to my latest track guide. This week we are at Charlotte Motor Speedway Road Course. The lap we're going to be talking you through is going to be a 131.789. The conditions for the track on screen now, partly cloudy, 26. It's set to morning conditions as per the official calendar race for next week. And finally on screen now, the fuel, feel free to copy as you wish. Without further ado, let's head to the track. Okay, so here we are, just starting our flying lap. Coming into turn one, we're going to be looking towards hitting the one marker, shifting down to third gear. Getting in on the apex, just clipping that corner, keeping it in third up here. On the power, up to fourth. Over to the left hand side of the track as you're coming through here. As we get to the top of this little crest of a hill, I'm going to be dropping down to third gear. Throwing the car in through the right hander in third. And it's just important, on this corner you want to run quite wide to maximise the exit. You can see we're running, pushing out wide. Throttle modulation, get on the throttle as early as you can. This is a little mini straight. There's not many straights on this track, despite it being a roval. Um, up into fourth. Through here, we're going to be shifting down to third, just as we're coming in line with the wall on the right-hand side there. And then there's a second shift down to second gear. Just as we get up towards the kerbs on the right hand side, just to really help with the car rotation. As you can see, when you drop down to second there, it just throws the car in. That gives that extra bit of kicking rotation. Up to third on the exit. Be careful over here, there's a little bump. It can unsettle the car and push you out towards the wall. Just, just be careful of that and aware of it. Keeping it in third. Really want to hug the inside here. Important on the fall all the way around, really hug the inside of this wall as close as you can. Don't worry too much about pushing out wide here because the camber of the corner should keep you out the wall nine times out of ten. <laughs> and onto the oval we go up to fourth gear, up to fifth. As we approach the chicane. We're going to be braking just before the one marker, all the way down to second gear. And it's important, you can clobber quite a bit of the inside kerb here. And likewise on the right hand side. Power out, don't be afraid to run down over the paint on the exit there. Once again up through the gears, approaching the final chicane now. This is quite an, a tricky corner actually, or chicane, because as the car is turning left as you're approaching it, so I've, I've spoken many times in previous videos about making sure you have the steering straight under braking. It's quite difficult to do that in this um, occasion. So you almost have to steer a little bit to the right to counterbalance the off steer as you get on the brake. So as you can see, we've got a little bit of right hand side steering just to counter the car as we start the braking phase. Down to setting gear. You can ride quite a bit of this right hand side curb, but if you do ride too much, you will get a 1X. And clobber the left hand curb, and that completes one lap of Charlotte.
Okay, and there we have it. As always, guys, hope this video has been of use to someone out there. If you feel it's helped you, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. See you soon.